It's 6 o'clock on Monday, the 13th of January, 2020. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Christopher, bringing you the only update of the local Albanian news, translated into English. Reporters Without Borders has welcomed President Iliot Meta's decision to overturn the decision of the anti-defamation package to Parliament for reconsideration. The law, according to the international organization, is in violation of the Constitution and is seen as a government effort to control the media. Through a reaction on Twitter, the international organization views the law as an attempt by the government to control the media in violation of the Constitution and Human Rights Conventions. The so-called anti-defamation package is seen as a government effort to control the media in violation of the Albanian Constitution as well. On Sunday, the head of the state returned the anti-defamation package to Parliament, arguing it puts the media under control and downplays critical voices. The law, according to President Meta, contains elements of censorship as it conflicts with constitutional principles for the protection of rights and freedoms of expression, with the jurisprudence of the Constitutional Court, and is not in line with the standards of the European Convention on Human Rights. The head of the state argues that the, with the adoption of this law, the Albanian parliament has transcended the limits of constitutional authorization through the powers invested in it by the audio media visual authority. The anti-defamation package was approved by parliament on December 18th last year with 80 votes in favor. The much debated law was, direct, was rejected by journalists through a protest and some of the embassies were also criticized. On the 107th anniversary of the creation of the state police, its elite forces, Renea, are eager to have a new unit. At the inauguration ceremony, the chief of state police, Ardi Velu, said that finalizing the Renea headquarters project has cost 10 million euros, of which constitutes 6 million euros in state budget funding and 4 million euros in EU funding. The EU ambassador in Tirana, Luigi Soreca, guaranteed that the EU would continue to support Albania in the field of security, where it is expected to allocate another 15 million euros over the next two years. This investment will help increase security and improve the rapid response of these forces. The EU has been cooperating with Albanian security forces for years as fighting organized crime is a top EU priority. It is important to accelerate this fight, pursue money, and improve the efficacy of its investigations as well as prosecution and convictions in the court. In the last few years alone, the EU has invested 15 million euros in upgrading equipment, infrastructure, and management of state police and customs operations. In the next two years, the EU will commit another 19 million euros to further develop the security academy, improving proactive financial investigation powers and Albania's green and blue border management. Organized crime is not a local phenomenon. It depends on transnational links and cooperation. Organized crime must be fought by everyone. Investing in Albania security also means investing in EU security. A safer Albania means a safer Europe, Soreko said. The Leja Prosecutor's Office has taken over the case file with evidence of seven buildings damaged by the November 26 earthquake and is expected to decide soon on bringing those responsible to justice. According to evidence, there was interference in the structure of six buildings constructed in the early 90s, while a building made in recent years was constructed of poor quality. Seven buildings damaged by the November 26 earthquake will be the subject of investigation by the Leja Prosecutor's Office. The prosecution has administered the evidence submitted by the judicial police in relation to the these objects which were heavily damaged by shaking. In the old buildings that have been referred to the prosecutor's office for investigation, it turns out there has been interference on the first floors of various additions which are suspected to have weakened the structure. Therefore, there are strong doubts that these interventions were weakened by, were by, weakened by earthquake resistance, whereas for 10-story buildings which has been built in 10 recent years, there are doubts surrounding the quality of their construction and naturally it suffered numerous damages. The materials referenced by the judicial police at the request of the prosecutor are already in the hands of Leja's prosecutor, Milan Daska. Criminal proceedings are expected to be registered in the coming days for three offenses, illegal construction, providing assistance to illegal construction, and abuse of office. Investigations will determine if there is an element to these offenses that, of course, if found to be the case, will be held responsible and brought to justice. The Doris prosecution is the only one so far to have cut 18 arrest warrants for construction that had caused 24 casualties in the coastal city. Prosecutors in Tirana and Kuria are still investigating documents of buildings that collapsed after the earthquake, causing 51 deaths and about 1,000 injuries across the country. 
On the 107th anniversary of the creation of the state police, the mayor of Skodra, Voltana Ademi, recalled the challenge of reducing corruption while wishing that vetting would not become as selective as that of the justice system. Ceremonies were held throughout this country today as 13th of the January is a holiday for state police. But on the 107th anniversary of its founding, Skodra's Democratic mayor, Voltana Ademi, recalled the challenge of clearing our corrupt politicians. Cleansing its ranks of criminal associates and street criminals and those with collars must come out an hour earlier from the state police. Voltana said clearing the uh, structure from those who do not deserve the uniform is expected to be at vetting the police station for which the mayor of one of these cities hit hard cry crime, wished he would not be brought to justice. Even though there has been talk of vetting for months in the state police, there are no still tangible and reliable results. I wish that the vetting of the state police would not be under the selective example of that in the justice system. Although it was not the day of the analysis, the deputy district police director spoke about increasing public safety. Today, the Skodra region is much safer in terms of the security of property, life of citizens, businesses, and tourists visiting us, said Lorenz Meta. Similar ceremonies were held throughout the police department, bringing together effective officers with those who previously wore the uniform. Be kinder to the people and stricter in law enforcement, was Lorenz Meta's decree. And finally, the Democratic Party says the return of two laws on online media censorship by the President of the Republic is a proper step in protecting free speech. According to former Democratic Party MP Albana Voksi, this is a fair decision that a normal prime minister would see as an opportunity to withdraw anti-democratic laws and why he is skeptical that such a thing will happen. We all know that uh, Edi Rama will not do this. It is vital today to shut the mouth of the media, especially critics online. Edi Rama's mission is to censor the truth of his mismanagement and co-direct of the country with a handful of oligarchs and criminals. According to her, Edi Rama today is vital to conceal the truth of a severe economic crisis that has engulfed the country, the truth for thousands of families who are cold, homeless, without water and electricity, without heat, medication, and complete meals for their children. Edi Rama should face the official justice of this government responsible for the 24 lives lost in Thumana and has hidden the necessity of eliminating any trace of state crime, censoring the media. Edi Rama needs censorship as he prepares for the next theft, this time through concessions and tenders on the November 26 earthquake wreckage. At a time when Edi Rama designated mayors are being criminally charged, justice must act to punish officials involved in vote buying, links to crime, which are the Bundestag's conditions for opening negotiations. Edi Rama needs a retribution mechanism for anyone who tells the truth. At a time when he has to fulfill the Bundestag's obligations to open negotiations, starting with the electoral reform that gives way to free and fair elections, Rama only needs his propaganda and the silence of every utterance that speaks the truth about corrupt affairs or government links to crime. For those, for these and many other affairs that burden this government, according to Voksi, Edirama will seek to quickly adopt this law returned by the president. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening. And be sure to join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of our news, thank you and good night.